<laughs> like for instance, D may, may have heard me say this before, but like on our on our sphere that we're accustomed to is 360. Uh, but the ancient ancient mathematics say it's over 2,000 degrees on the sphere. So we've gotten very lazy. And this is why we can't replicate pyramids and shit like oh, that. Oh, 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 we don't understand yeah. how vibration works. I mean, society does, and some of us do, right? But you can use vibration for like, healing yourself. Mm -hmm. You can use mm -hmm. vibration for architecture. Like that's how they got those big ass several ton stones so close to each other that you couldn't fit a piece of paper to them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna what? tell you about the St. Louis Arch. My bad. Go ahead. You good? What's good? Hey y'all, what's good? You back with us one more time, and I'm, we glad you are back. I'm Fine Juan, and I am Innocence, and we got a special guest with us today. Peace, peace, yes, focus, got, man. My bad. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. We got special, <laughs> special guests. Yes, yes, man. Respect. So we've been knowing you for a long time, man. And yeah. hey, you've been grinding. You've been doing your thing. And before I even met you, was all right doing your thing. Yeah. So can you tell these people, you know, who you are and what you actually do? Indeed, man. So right now. Uh, my resume is all over the place. 15 years, kitchen and bathroom designer. I've been a part of over 300 renovation projects in St. Louis. Um, other, you know what I'm saying, uh, artistic outlets. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I own a jewelry company, Shrunk Brand. Uh, natural gemstones and wood, fine jewelry. We Facts. use what God created and just kind of, you know, manipulate it for our own. Mm -hmm. Uh, usage, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got one of the next in my car, thank you. See, you know can't. Saying? That thing is going to outlive you, son. I, I promise. That's a fact. Because yeah, I didn't make it, you know what I'm saying? I just manipulated it. <laughs> but uh, what else, man? I mean, back, back, back in like 03, 04, uh, used to intern for Capitol Records, right. Universal Records. Got a lot of gems, a lot of good reflexes from that So experience. you get to start there? Yeah, yeah, so okay, it's so funny story. So I was Design of the kitchen for somebody okay. back in 03. Uh, what type of kitchen? It was uh, just residential, residential okay. kitchen. A, a cat wanted to, you know, take care of his wife. He didn't. He had no interest mm -hmm. in what it looked like. Mm -hmm. He didn't care. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to let me know when is it done and how much, how much it's going to cost. cost. Okay. So he comes in and he throws the plans down on my desk and he's just like, "Y'all need the kitchen," <laughs> and I was like. Uh, my name is Will, can I help you? you know what I'm like, <laughs> let's talk more about your project. He was like, son, I don't know, they go to Dimensions. Cat from New York, right? He was a roadie back in the day for a Tribe Called Quest. Okay. And so we're sitting up and we're talking and he, nothing about what I'm doing. I'm just plugging away, I'm doing math. He does not care about what I'm doing. He's just sitting there, he's got a blazer on and some, and some jeans and he's just like, yo, just let me know when it's done. So he was super cool though, as we start talking about music. And uh, like, you know, well into the design process, he's like, yo, what are you doing, son? And I was like, I got offended. I was like, what are you doing? You don't, you're not feeling what I'm doing? Yeah. Like, I'm, not, I'm telling you, you gotta you got have this much time talking code, mm -hmm. uh, building code. And uh, he was like, nah, why are you designing kitchens? I said, so, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, he was hot. You got something me. better? What you yeah. mean? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You got something better? Yeah. yeah. Talk to him. Let me so I had just got my degree in interior architecture, you and this was my first SEBA before it was. It was Patricia Stevens. 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 Now it's Stevens Institute of Business and Art downtown okay. St. Louis. So this was my first job out of school. So I'm real like on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be perfect. You know, know what I'm saying? And so when he, he hit me with the, what are you doing? So why are you, why are you doing this? You know, I'm like, yo, I, they was hiring. God is good. You know what I'm saying? That's on my check. So, I'm, I'm making my bills. Yeah. No, I'm making bills. <laughs> and I'm living at home with the parents at this point and I'm making, I'm doing, I'm all okay. And so uh, he was like, I tell you what, man, this is, this is cool, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but you should be doing something in music. I'm going to give you a number. He wrote a number on the card. He's like, this is my man. Uh, Chris, I won't say his last name for the sake, but yeah, he was like, this is my man Chris up in Check Chicago. Things. Check you know what I'm saying? In a sense, right? <laughs> Respect. He's like, time. call him, tell him I got work for you. Word? So just call him. So I need you to call this nigga though. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I'll call him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, 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 I'm, I'm my word. He right? was serious. So, uh, so I, I, that, was, that resonated with me, and so I made sure I called, buddy. Like the following day, yeah. 
And so I called him. Oh, yeah, 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 the kitchen designer cat. You know what I'm saying? What's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you met so and so? All right, check this out. Take it. You got a pen? Write this down. I got, I'm going to plug you to my people in St. Louis. Tell them I got work for you. That's how it works. <laughs> Talking about relationship building. Relationship yeah. and that's it. Make Son. And it's been like it's been like it's crazy. So I called Wes, shout out to Solo, uh, over at Shrewd Marketing and Promotions. And he was like, Yo, come in for an interview. But before that he said, Oh yeah, the kitchen designer cat. Just like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like yeah, my name is William Marchibald, exactly. you know what I'm saying? I didn't say focus, I didn't, my name is William Marchibald. I didn't know I didn't know what I was walking into, so it was yeah. very formal. And um, he's like, oh, yeah, the kitchen designer, cat. Yeah, no, nah, when are you free? Like, you know, come through, come check us out. So mm -hmm. I was like, yo, should I bring a resume? He was like, yeah, I mean, sure. I guess. <laughs> like, like, I just <laughs> didn't care, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so yeah, I came like, in, like, straight up, like, an interview, like, or how we're taught in school, right? Yeah. So I go in, I lay it down, how you doing? Firm. Mm -hmm. Like, you to. And he's just like, yo, I have a seat, you know what I mean? You know, what's going on? Let's talk to me. You know, it's, what are you doing? You you designing kitchens? You saving the world doing that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, oh like, man, oh, what am I walking What in the world is this? And so I start looking around, and they got plaques on the wall, like mm. like from different artists. You know what I'm mm. saying? And immediately I got put on the Universal account. Uh, one of them, I got put on the Arista account, and I remember funny because Arista shut its doors on March first, two thousand and. Five, four or five, right? But Arista was like, like uh, LaFace, and it was mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, L.A. Reid and all that. Okay. So like all of these cats who was on there got dispersed. And so we had to follow them. So I was working on Interscope, Priority, Capital, Columbia, Jeez. Atlantic, depending on the, you the know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and so it was neat. It was real access. Y'all talking about access? Mm -hmm. I learned, I, I was picking artists up from the, from the airport was taking care of him while he was in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. While he wasn't in St. Louis, I was in, like on the team that was like getting the records to the mm -hmm. DJs, DJ feedback, public feedback. I was learning how to snipe. Sniping is where you used to, you know what I'm saying, go and see all the posters from all the way up to the bottom. You know what I'm saying, so-and-so album with these. Mm -hmm. I was doing that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, which is very illegal, but the, the label would take care of the, of the ticket. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you, so you see, can't do that now. You see cops coming, you could never do it, honestly. But so you, you, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You see the cops yeah, coming. You, whoop, you drop your you drop your stapler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Posters yeah. and you walk out of the way. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. 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 I'm just blasting. That's it. Blasting posters Put in the groundwork. everywhere. Groundwork. Groundwork. Taking the stairs, bro. And so that was neat. Got to learn how to like how a street the mechanics of a street team. Um, Got a, got a chance to you know develop some relationships with cats at the radio at the time. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, Q ninety five five. That was a good time. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay. It was just dope. And then and I was doing that and juggling. You know. So why did you? Why do you like think that? you end up deciding to take the job? Like why did you end up start? Like take the job to yeah. figure out what you want to do next. Like that that that's a leap right there. Oh, cause dude believed in me, man. Okay. He was like, oh, we were talking about, you know, people's albums, how many units they was pushing, what date they they signed, and what, like, just like cats talk about sports, mm -hmm. we were talking about music, music. And, and artists, and, 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 and you knew how yeah. to, he knew. Yeah. At that point, he knew he, that he, he, was, like, he was qualified. That's why he was like, what are you, what, what the hell is going on, what are you doing? Yeah. Right? And so, you know, um, Dude told me to call and I was just obedient, son. Like that was kinda I you know. It's easy like it that. It wasn't exactly it it's wasn't hard. Like it wasn't a hard decision and that's kinda what I did. Um you know what I mean? So okay. that's, that's a little bit of so what, early. So after that, you did that for how long? About four years. Okay. So after that, what did you do after that? Yeah, went back to school. Um, you know what I'm saying, and then got back into the the corporate side of things. I was I was a little discouraged and I, I don't want to put anybody under the bus, but it was from people close to me that was kind of like, get a job. Yeah. You know what I'm no, saying? You, how old were you at the time? Oh, man. I don't say like 24, 23, 22, around that time. You started feeling that way. Yeah. 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 I wasn't making a lot of money, but I wasn't paying for anything either. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Everything like, is expensed out. Because like, <laughs> four years in the music industry, like, and then starting from where you started, yeah. Man, two to three more years, it'd have been a rap rap. Son. And it, been, and it was, and it was like, 
I had it was funny though, but I moved to St. Louis in ninety nine. Two thousand Denver. Denver. Park Hill. What up? Um you know what I'm saying? Facts. Uh I moved here in ninety nine. Country grammar dropped immediately, like right, bop. Mm -hmm. Very fun time yeah, to be yeah, in the same yeah. place, right? And I was yeah, in high school. Very much so. Uh, yeah, like, but you know what? God, God has been like maneuvering me, man. Like, well, I'll just go back to when I moved to St. Louis. Mm -hmm. He dropped me into a circle, even in my reluctance of some cats that I just can't even like, solid to this day. Some of my best friends mm -hmm. now, and I ain't want. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I, I came here. Mom's was sick. I ain't want to be here. Pops had to stay, you know, in Denver. He didn't get the transfer. So it was just moms and she ain't moms right ish, you know what I'm saying? And then me and my sister and we're in a space where we just like, yo, where are we at, bro? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Hindsight was a blessing. You know what I'm saying? My network doubled. Mm -hmm. I knew how to get around two cities, you know what I'm saying? All that kind of stuff. But <clears throat> it was rough. But I was placed into a position. You know what I'm saying? Divinely is the only way I like to look at it, where I was able to like become a part of not just like my little circle right now, but it was a part of St. Louis. Like it was, we were everywhere. I was in a group, Kappa League yeah. in high school. So I had homies at U City. I had homies at Hazelwood East. I had homies at Central where I went. I had homies at Cardinal Ritter. That doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just automatically, you, right. got a network. you got a network. You know what I'm saying? And then that happened at work. And then there's another network that spurred from that just from being there and being obedient. Mm -hmm. So that was a gem. Yeah. So on the other side, most people might not notice about you, but you yeah. had your, your own beer. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Home brews. Yeah, home beer. <laughs> no question. And so no you know, question. that's a whole bit, like so right yeah. now, like yeah. it's like you just diversified the portfolio. Yeah. Like for kitchen sure. design. Yeah. Next ma music with <clears throat> artist management. And yeah. then you go into you know, make yeah. your own home brew. So how did that how did you get into that? And like what was the thought process like I want my own beer? Yup. So as I just said, I was placed, right? Mm -hmm. I was placed and I was I recognized it and I moved in it. Yeah. So my man, um, my frat brother in my pro fight, he was working for some organization. I was out of work at the time, and he was just like, I know where you can go. Because I'm already a beer snob at this point, right? Okay. I can talk to you about it. Okay. <laughs> he was okay. like, This job would be perfect for you. I was like, Well, what's the job? He was like, Yo, making beer. And I was like, Say word. And so here's. <laughs> right. That's, all I, that's so, all I gotta do. That's all I gotta do. That's it. And I drink it. And get paid. Cool. Cool. Say less. Say less. Say less. I'm there. So with the, the similarities is crazy because it's still like fruition to concept mm -hmm. to reality. Oh well, concept to fruition is what I meant to say. So it's like you got ingredients, or you got a client like I came from. Mm -hmm. You got a project, or you have a pro a, a flavor profile, mm -hmm. and you follow these instructions, and you have a product, or you have a happy client, or you have a whatever. So it's a process. Yeah. And so it made all of it made sense. Plus, I knew what to look for, and so that I got good at that, actually. Uh, and that's still something I do, you know what I'm saying? It's fun, I've made wine before. Uh, I've had some stuff distilled into brandy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Processes, oh, man. Doing it all. Artistic outlets, man. Yeah, that's it. Facts. That's, that's what, what it I'm is. Because it's, it's just yeah. you being creative. That's all it is, man. And you try everything. Why try everything? That's what I'm saying, why not? Why not? Try everything. You, you tried that? I did. I did. Did you like it? Yeah. Or, oh uh, yeah. It just depends. You don't know. And then you, you try you it. Try you gotta it. taste it. You know what I'm saying? Gotta taste life. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm mad with it, man. So after doing all that, like, how, what, you know, what's your life like, you know what I'm saying, between, from, well, from then, in yeah. the middle, and then, like, now? Because I'm, now you got your own uh, shop. Like, yeah. You know? you jumped into the brick and mortar last yeah. year. Yeah. So. Uh, became a homeowner and opened a shop in the nice. same like week. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right there in the middle of you know artists in St. Louis, right in Cherokee community. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super dope. Great community. And um, it's doing well, man. It's you know what I mean. It's, you, you realize the ebb and flows of having a brick and mortar. You got the hot months. You got the foot traffic. Yeah. The cold months. You got to diversify and shift your shift your clientele yeah. online. <laughs> Or you know have you know my, my 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 we signed my daughter up for a book club and they met there, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of like exposing the space, exposing people to the space, mm -hmm. and also securing the bag in the process. Oh, cool. You know what I'm saying? And, and trying to stay relevant, trying to stay alive in the process. So the brick and mortar has been dope. It's mm -hmm. it's opened up a lot of uh, 
uh, opportunities for us, man. It's put us in front of a, a different group of people. Um, it's a con it's it's something that needs to be addressed. Rent mainly, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and that kind of stuff. And so there's no room to, to slack off unless you just want to return your keys. That's real. You know what I'm so saying. So some things so. you wish you would, like you could have looked out for. Like if you could tell somebody if you want to get into anything that you already done, like the music management, kitchen, well, the kitchen design, you needed certain training. Sure. But you know, sure. getting the brick sure. and mortar, like what was the cost? You know, but yeah. not your cost, but like what, like it may cost you more time management or you know. Well, time bonus. management is in everything. Time management is the only. Real thing. I say the biggest thing, let me take a step back. The biggest thing you should look for is fear and doubt in yourself. Man, there it is. That's it. That, that, that's, that's in any realm or aspect, the element of your life. <clears throat> the little generic term, you your own worst critic. Yeah. That's a real hurdle. Yeah. I mean, you can always talk yourself out. I mean, we're made in the image of God, so we're intelligent. Mm -hmm. You can talk yourself out of anything. Yeah, that's facts. You can yeah. get over smart about anything and be like, eh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. Or you do like what Dr. King said and take the first step, even if you can't see the staircase. Just trust in your instincts. Like, God gave you instincts. Mm -hmm. We are products of our experiences. Can not stand up, right? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. the products of your experiences and how you digest information, but also, you got to realize that you were created and you're the only person like you mm -hmm. and God don't make mistakes. So who the, who, someone who watch my mouth, who cares mm -hmm. yeah. if you fall on your face, just get up. Yeah. Like I tell it. my kids and that's, that's one of the things that keep us going too, is the fact that my daughter who's five, mm -hmm. the one is, I mean, I both of them, one of them is one, one of them is five. I feel like both of them paying attention just differently, yeah. right? And both of them for that matter just got back. So they could learn, they could learn me something, right? Yeah, that's right. So, Bless up. Uh, straight up. Um, but the fact is they get to see entrepreneurship as normal. That's, that's normal. That's like, it. Normal. Not being, like, yeah, that, that's so dope. That's, that's a gym, true. son. That's, that's, they don't know nothing else. Like they see daddy go to work, mm -hmm. but they also see daddy shop. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah. yo, and not yeah. in, in, in Kennedy, my, my youngest, I mean, my oldest <clears throat> has her own LLC. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's designing jewelry now. She's actually, <clears throat> she had a, it was at a girl expo uh, not too long ago. She had a table. Mm -hmm. She didn't come back with a lot of inventory because she's out there and she's engaging people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Say. It's normal, it's normal to her. So like the normalities in our lives should be those that propel us. Mm -hmm. Those can be scary and the older we get, the smarter we get and we can talk ourselves out of stuff. So that'd be the first hurdle I would tell people to look out for. Other than that, man, just kind of know what you need, man. Don't over square foot yourself. Be you know as economical as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and online is another form of real estate. You don't necessarily have to have a warehouse. True. You can have a living room and operate from you know what I'm saying your website and have a warehouse mm -hmm. essentially. Mm -hmm. So. Right off this is, it was me and, me and Paradise D was talking. We was talking uh, last night, man. Yeah. About like how you got that figured out. Like you mm -hmm. might make something just to test the waters and fish. And if right. people respond, yeah. then you, you it, match. Right? You match the demand. But you you know you make something, you put it out there. Mm -hmm. Bang boom. If you're not, if you know what I'm saying, if, if one thing is not selling as much as the next, you know, I didn't waste no money on that joint. Yeah. I'll still unload it, but exactly. If somebody else wanted it, that's yeah, a different, for sure. it's a different market. It's an option. You know what I mean? So that's that's one of the things I would say look out for too. Know your audience, know what you're what, what you're trying to have accomplished. Mm -hmm. Like for me, like, you know what I'm saying, the the, the natural gemstones and wood. That was something I was doing. God bless you. God bless. Straight up. Uh, that was something I was doing in high school. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just cause my sister always had an affinity for gemstones. She had these little charts when we was in like middle school. Yeah, shorty, oh, with shorty, tiger's eye, yeah, and everything. Nah. So I'm like, oh, this is Rishi. I would be seeing that too. Rishi, yeah, yeah, it was a rhyme. Fly. If it was a rhyme. Fly. So I got my hands on it. I was like, oh, yeah, shit. Like, oh, oh, these, they feel differently. This stone might be a thousand years old. Like, just carved out. Definitely. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Love it. I'll rock it. Yeah. I'll design. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm capable. I'm capable. So, you know what I mean? That, you know. So, you know what I mean? I, I think the next thing I would tell people to not really watch out for 
but focus on is consistency. Mm -hmm. And like when you set a goal, if you if you you got to be consistent, like like credit repair or like uh, owning a business or whatever, you know. Things I just had to repair my credit to buy the house. Yeah. So that was consistent. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. And you ain't no ain't no. You gotta take the stairs on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so <laughs> ain't no elevators. Ain't no elevators. I'm just saying that you gotta take the stairs on this one. Exactly. Straight up. You got to. Ain't no camping on this. Oh, no, right. exactly. Yeah. No and so uh, consistency, man. And once you reach the goal, the consistency is to maintain yeah. this while focusing on the oh, other next other. mountain. You yeah. just can't get satisfied. With you can't, bro. Because laziness is consistency too. That's fine. Yeah. And the quality of that. Yeah. You might think it's so good being this type of. Let's call it lazy. Okay. But it's a whole different ball game when you get back up and start fighting again, bro. Yep. Bro. Yep. You know what I mean, and not not to not to say you gotta. You know what I'm saying. I know in this country we we work 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 and don't take. You and gotta hit the reset. You, you, you can yeah. hit the reset, and, yeah. and we talk we talk yeah. about that. It's talk, like yeah. you can be content in that specific type of greatness at that point. Straight up, but don't let that last longer than it really has to, because like you know season. you got more. Yeah. Unless, you know you got more. Unless you know that was just your foot in the door. And now, <laughs> like, me and parties, like, okay, yeah. it's my party, they're going to elevate they're going to do what they're going to do. Flat but out. when I bring out flavors, that has Boom. to keep on going Boom. every yeah. single time. It's, it's a different pain. entity, it's man. Fact. So that means you're growing. Your, your, prof your, your profile is growing. Mm -hmm. Your reach is growing. For and sure. what people expect from you is all over the place. Yep. Like, Yo, I need this done. Oh, Jay got that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need this done. I would tell you to call somebody else, but Jay also has that. Yeah. Just call him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. One stop yeah. shop, your man. Just call him and then that's when he draw, yeah. drives, drives your uh, relevancy up. Are you ready for this uh, Spitfire? I believe so. All right. I believe so. We're going to start it off like this. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So, how important is it to expand your brand? And what does Ooh. that look like? Okay. And what does it look, what does it look like? So at this point, it's absolutely important to okay. expand my brand. I will say the biggest thing I got to focus on right now is scaling. Um, what that means, like I design something and have it mass produced, mm -hmm. or if I just hire people under my under my care, or, or you know what I'm saying, or command. I hate that word, but you know what I'm saying. People work for me to get it done. Direct. I can just inspect <laughs> things in real time. Instruction. Instruction. Thank you. Because yeah, I hate being called a teacher. Yeah. Like, I, I give instructions. I see better under my instruction, um, but now nah, to expand it <clears throat> should always be the move, man. Uh, if you go as far as to get like an LLC or mm -hmm. an S corp or you know anything that solidifies you, man, it just literally. Otherwise, why would you just why wouldn't you just keep it? You know what it is, mm -hmm. organic. Mm -hmm. It can still mm -hmm. be organic ish, but if you're gonna scale it, then I mean, if, if you're gonna do all other stuff, it's important to scale it. Especially if you want to, you know what I'm saying, focus on, um, I just call it financial freedom. Not not really working for somebody else and using yeah. the tools that God gave you. Uh, I know this is supposed to be Spitfire, but I'm going to go, I'm going to turn a little corner real quick. There's a there's a, uh, a parable in the Bible that always has resonated with me. When God gave three people talents, mm -hmm. you know this, right? <clears throat> And the first, and I'll just paraphrase it and get to the back of it. But uh, one cat, two cats actually multiplied their talents. The third mm -hmm. guy buried it. Yeah. Yep. And when they when he had to be held accountable, you know what I'm saying? At the altar, the gate, or wherever they met God, God asked him. He said, "Yo, what you do with your talents? You do you multiply yours? Good, my good and faithful servant. Well done." Mm -hmm. Second cat, same thing. Third dude, he was like, "Yo, in the water, where's your talents? I buried mine." He's like, "Yo, go away from me. I don't know you." That's a little scary for me. So I gotta understand, like I gotta use my stuff and I gotta do it to the point where I'm providing for the people who are depending on me to provide for them. Yeah. Uh, and so scaling and, and growing it is literally the only answer for that. That's real. Yeah. So, okay, so what does that look like? You okay. know, like you have to go out and network, like how right. much networking, so social me, engagement, so, so if, it's, if it's this, if we're just talking about gemstones, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to do road shows, trade shows, travel and go to different, um, you know, festivals, events, and that so kind of stuff. 
Right. I think it's the only way to do it. Yeah. You create the type of groundwork buzz because, I mean, if you just rely online, it, it loses the human touch. You got to shake hands. You got to tell people, try it on, man. It looks good on you. I, it looks like I made it for you. That kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that's true. A lot right. of people put stuff on and their body to piece. It's just like, yo, that, you don't take it off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That kind of yeah. stuff. So <clears throat> you can't do that online. You got that's That's hand to hand. That's a hug. That's thank you. That's if you want anything else, then go online. This is, this is bang, this is this. Because yeah. people like to buy from friends. You know what I'm saying? People like, everybody likes to buy, nobody likes to be sold. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And yes. so there's a human touch to say, yo, I, I want I want to I want to buy that from I want to buy that from you. From you. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple still living joints. We still live in joints. One was a gift though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one special to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the other one I bought because it was hard and it was yo, it came from you. I, I, it came from somewhere that I recognize the energy. And when I wear it, it's, it, it's not like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's real. So in order to grow my brand to get back to your question, it's gonna take me pounding some pavement, uh, maybe, you know, it, looking at some grants or some things that allow me to, to hire people to, to scale, yeah. um, or just, 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 you know what I'm saying, going out and, and killing it. Okay. So if you if it was anybody that you could work with, who mm -hmm. would you work with? Well, that would span a lot more than just this. This is um, dead or alive. We talking about? Yeah, yeah dead, dead or alive. alive. Come back to that. I need time with that one. Okay. Yeah. And that could be anybody. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, for sure. If you were gonna be in <laughs> any sure. type of movie, what type of movie? What, what, like, what type of movie would it be? Yo, I would say probably. Um, don't laugh at me, man. But if they did it, I know this is it's a TV show. But if they, they did a Wu Tang movie, oh, I'm trying yeah. to be in that show. <laughs> Not a documentary or a miniseries. A movie, I'm in it. Just because that's how you. Do phrase you know it. what role you would want to play in it? Nah, nope. You said I just want to be nope. in it. Nope. I would. I would. I, I, where, wherever the risk would have me in, I would. I would give a thousand percent. No, nah, but honestly, I'm actually, I, I was telling D last night, I'm in a movie right now. Okay. Actually, it's called No Way Out. Peace to Marquise Moore. Hey, He's the director. Bless up. Uh, it's a brother from Compton. He's in town and we're shooting LA, uh, New Orleans, St. Louis, and Chicago. Uh, these are the markets that they're Ooh. shooting in. The premiere, just follow my social and you'll know when the premiere is coming out and that kind of stuff. It's going to be up to the, uh, the uh, Blues Museum downtown. Okay. But I'm in a movie right now and that was a leap of faith in itself because I have certain trainings that I'm not utilizing right mm -hmm. now. And so why, why the hell not? You wow. know what I'm saying? Okay. That's where we at. We're tasting life. That's where I would have been. But like Wu-Tang or, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, anything with uh, Jordan Peele okay. or... Uh, I can, I, I can, well, lean away. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, I don't care. That's for it. I would have yeah. liked to be in like the game, the TV show. Okay. Yeah, I see I that. See, that's ain't that. That's yeah, yeah. I'm like, I yeah, can yeah. See that. Yeah, he'd be a fan favorite too. I would, but that might answer your question about who I might want to work with. I just don't know in what level I would want to work that's with somebody. Right. So that's I'm gonna still come back to that. Okay. Yeah. What is the first thing you do or think of in the morning? My kids. Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing I do is give thanks. But usually it's for them. Okay. Um, the first thing I think about, man, is I, it depends on the day, because I usually know what my day entails the night before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's true. I'm like, or a couple days day. before, so I'm usually thinking about how I'm a, you know what I'm saying, Sacrifice. maximize the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the Gotta first thing I do is give thanks. That's real. Okay. That's Powder real. Color. Oh, cold for me, for sure. Are you from Denver, probably? Oh, indeed. You know, it drives my wife crazy. You might know my homie Turk. Turk, this is what he go by. What's his Ryan name? Turk. He from he Ryan from Turk. Yeah, we played basketball with him. Look, you see, so you gonna talk after this? <laughs> <laughs> what up, Turk? Yeah, yeah, peace, 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 peace. Um, what are, what is your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Of all time. Of all time. Yeah. Ooh, uh, Timberlands probably. That's because of the coat. He was able to rock them. Uh, you know what I'm saying? In St. Louis, it was a whole nother culture. It together now. It was a whole nother culture. That's when they still wore baggy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, were just, they was in the 90s wearing, you know, the baggy clothes. Jabos. Facts. Hey, no, I didn't wear Jabos, though. I wasn't I either. I, I, was, I was, yeah. I didn't I, even know what Jabos was. I had a, I had a, I seen Jabos. I had a Jabos t-shirt. It was fresh. From Harold Pennis. Don't laugh. Harold Pennis! Hey! My sister was a manager, man. 
Northwest Plaza. That was Northwest. Nah, uh, uh, uh Northwest, Northwest Plaza. That's where I went. Yeah, for sure. Oh, there. Yeah, oh, straight one okay. too. Bum, bum. One too. But yeah, nah, I had yeah. That was a. Hey, that's Marie why we can't say Your boat. You know what I'm saying? That was something I learned when I moved to St. Louis. Yeah. I definitely Facts. Was. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Facts. 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 That's why I thought saying it was so cold, but then that the down. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Um, Facts. I heard us. Say. Emo's a pie. Here we go. Pie. And really? Yeah. Why is that? A lot of well, I don't like. Mutiny happens I don't at like, that point. At that point. At that point. At that I'm, I'm, I'm low key like. Head in my pocket on y'all. Like, <laughs> that makes my head around. A couple of the viewers was like, nah. nah. He was so good. Oh, so, what's the best pie? In nah, I'm going to keep it a blast, which I'm going to keep it a whole 100%. I don't like Provel cheese, man. I got you. I don't like Provel, except there's an exception to everything. Mm -hmm. There it is. Rest in peace, Cicero's. They cheese fries was fire. And that's what they use. Cicero's. Cicero's, Cicero, man. Cicero, man. Cicero was nice. I had a little pie there. Yo, yeah, so many beers on tap. Uh, beautiful, place. Beautiful, beautiful place. But no, it's gotta be, you know what I mean? And so I met another sidebar, weird, crazy access. I met Mr. Emo, didn't know it was him, right? I was working in the marketing department very briefly at Lumiere when we opened it in 07. Okay. So bunch of different events to celebrate the opening of the, of the Lumiere, right? So he came to one, uh, I was in the marketing department and I met him. And he had to get his information for something, and it was uh, IMO. It was the last name. I was like, oh, snap. Like, you ever heard of it? Nah, ignorant. You know what I'm saying? In, in the moment. He was like, yeah, that was, that's mine. That's mine. I was like, oh, wow. And then he said, you like it? And I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie to this dude. You know, I'm not a piece of person. So, all right. We got That's what I should have said. If, if, as far as pizza goes, sir, mm. this is pretty good. As far but as pizza goes. But then you could have said. You guys are excellent. But then you could have said. I was not, not excellent here. in this moment. <laughs> oh, okay, now. I, I always so, say. Yeah. Because I was, I was honest. He was like, you yeah. like it? And I was like, uh, not my favorite. You know what I'm it's saying? Okay. And this is what he told me. No, no. He, he said his next question was, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Denver originally. Yeah. And he was like, makes sense. And I'm going to tell you something. Next time you have my pizza, if you give it another try. Put it back in the oven when you get home, and then eat it. And sure enough, because I hang out with St. Louisans, I'm in, I'm here. Yeah. It shows up. I put it in the oven. It's amazing, ish. It's better. <laughs> it's a lot better. But no pie. It's got to be pie. Okay. Pie is overwhelming too a little bit though. It's not. It don't have no sugar in the back. Pie, like, is that what it is? No sugar. See, it's no flavor. Pie is a little. See, I'm from Decatur, so I always say my, like Dale Carmen's is better than they pizza. Mm. Like, Y'all never been to Decatur? Mm. So, well, you've been. I've been to Decatur. I just haven't. But you just haven't had the Dale Carmen's because yeah, yeah. it burns up. But it's okay. It's cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got recipes, Dale Carmen's. <laughs> They got one by McCarthy, but nobody. Yo, speaking of burning up, is Goody Goody ever coming back? Yo? Man, <laughs> I'm hurt by that, man. You know, know, Goody Goody was okay to me. It wasn't like see, see, it wasn't see, like see people. <laughs> <laughs> like my mom made, you know what I'm saying? My mom made better eggs than this. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I feel like yeah. that's and the good. chicken was like on steroids. So I was like, yeah. oh, but yeah. see, I th Goody Goody had his. But Goody Goody is baked into the ingredients. It's baked into the ingredients. The history is in the history is in the freezer, which is why people come there from wherever you go <laughs> from. Yeah, I know people to get but off the plane. But you get that same, you get like, that same taste yeah, at the market though. You gotta relax. Yo, and uh, what's my spot on the east side? Illusions. Illusions uh, got the best chicken. Whoa, and we talking about on the east side? Is uh, Brooklyn part of that? I don't, I don't know. Cause my is up. Cause the part of the east side. Delusions. Then I would say bottoms up. Bottoms up. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta east side. We gotta east side native over here. Is illusions decent? Nah, illusions is shit, bro. Oh, they. Oh, but is it better or the better than the one even I was pulling get some chicken in the Son. But is it like three? But is it better than bottoms up? Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Chicken fry. Man, fry. Thinking too hard. See, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, bro. I'm a fried chicken kind of sore, bro. I fuck with all of it. This guy, this guy. Well, I have, I gotta go to the Luigi's to try that out. Yeah, man. I highly recommend. Is that like a club? It is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I'm gonna check it out. It is a club. But you gotta drive through just for the chicken. Okay. You gotta, you gotta drive through. To keep it real, son. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I like that aspect. It's nice. Yeah. Because the bottoms up had a drive through. That'd be oh, boring. that'd be dangerous for them. That'd be dangerous. I'll fact, because it might Jackson, be a drive through. Half the joints wouldn't even be in it. I feel like nah, that's 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 a bold statement. 
I mean, people go there because the women be in there. The women, yeah. you feel like they be doing it, but exactly. at the same time, when you you know that chicken, all that, that, like that, you be yeah. like, hey, I know I'm pretty much guaranteed to get a the fries banging. I mean, yeah. but but Onyx yeah. got that fried sauce Dude. and the whole platter. Ain't been. So, man, the whole platter. Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you gotta just let that. Yeah. It, I'll see it was one day. Sure. And but I mean, we always have a good time. We genuinely always have a good time. All right. I can say that. Facts. But we are different type of people. So what is your favorite drink? Uh, as far as non-alcoholic, and it's very unhealthy, but vanilla Coke. Okay. It's a it's a favorite. It's it's got, a, I like the taste. It's amazing. It's the vanilla. Um, as far as, I'm a bourbonite, man. I drink bourbon. Um, bourbonite. Uncle Nearest is obviously dope for historical purposes and taste. Yeah. Actually went to the, the, the distillery open. That was fresh. Okay. Um and uh in Shelbyville, Tennessee. I like a good uh Glenn Levitt if I'm doing scotch. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Good twelve year. Did good twelve uh, year. I'm not mad at that. Um Oh my God. We we about have, to have a whole different episode to talk about drink with me. What do you think about Johnny though? Johnny's decent. I mean I don't really I'm not I don't drink it all the time. It's a treat every time I have it though. Uh, I like that. Yeah, it's a little treat. It's a treat. It's a treat. Like I I'm I'm much bigger on bourbon than I am on scotch. Though. I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Um, what's your favorite sports team? Broncos. Okay. If you could have a superpower. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Denver, man. Okay, and, and, go Nuggets. Right, and go Nuggets. And right. go Nuggets, man. Right. Also hey. go Cardinals. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, we had a team here. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, we didn't get the Rockies till '93. My parents are from St. Louis. I feel it. You know what I mean? I went to the first, the first, not the game, but the first series the Rockies Cardinals ever played. And I painted, painted in red, man. Had all the St. Louis, you know. And, and St. Louis gave it to him. It was a good day. So in that order, actually, let me, let me, in this order, Broncos, Cardinals, Nuggets. All right, bet. Yeah, that in was, that order. I know you're going to say the Broncos, because, I mean, if you're from Denver, the Broncos have always, they've been good. They can suck, bro. But they had John Elway, Terrell Davis. Preach. You feel me? Shannon. Shay Shaw. Same time. Because I want to go to Club Shay Shay. I want to go to Club Shay Shay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God bless. So, ill, uh, we Denver won back to back. Then I moved to St. Louis and the Rams won the following year. So, it was definitely like y'all are welcome. I mean, it's when it came out. But now I was in three Super Bowl cities consecutive. That was pretty dope. That's real. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. Well, how's that feeling though? Like, yeah, it's neat, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I was a lot more invested in, in the Broncos than I was in the Rams. But to be a part of like the atmosphere of the city and the city feel good, mm -hmm. that's a dope, that's a dope feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I think I first yeah. felt my first one when the um, the Blues just won. Yeah. That like, was phenomenal. You felt the city like I'm from like Decatur. We don't feel stuff like that. Yeah. You know, yeah, we don't got that type of, you know spotlight or you know we're not make, don't have any major things. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Um, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Oh, teleportation, hands down. You pop up on there. It is. Hands pop down. You see, what the fuck you at? I've definitely thought about this a million times. Pop up on them. That's it. You serious? <laughs> Dog, teleportate. Yo, you fly, so people can see you coming. Yeah. You teleport. I'm just in the building. Mm -mm. Too shy. I'll be in India tomorrow, bro. You sure you gonna make it? I'm here right now. I'm here. I'm, I'm just here. where I'm at right now. Exactly. Even if I'm I gone. leave right back, I, I'm good. <laughs> this is my power, bro. I can do this when I, I'm going to the bathroom. I won't. I'm in the bathroom for 30 minutes, but I've had my time where I'm supposed to be. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Even if you feel like flying, you just teleport up and just for free fall. <laughs> you get tired of free fall and just back at the I'm table. Dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's gliding. He's gliding. He's gliding. <laughs> He said, yeah, this is fun. Super Bowl sign. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You at the Super Bowl. If you watch you could be, you could play whatever. any sport event. And they yeah. wouldn't even know. How do you do that? Just oh my goodness, bro. It is so unfair. Man. I'll be. What, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He, he caught the ball. Yeah, I'm just man. like that, bro. Much is given, much is required, though. Yeah. It'd be a lot of temptations to do some real uh -huh. savage. Uh-huh. That's fact. Exactly. That's fast. Yo, man. Well, I mean, you just gotta be able to tame yourself. But if you were stuck yeah. on an island yeah. with three things, okay, what would you bring? Very controversial, controversial question. Very mm -hmm. controversial. Question. Has it? It has. Let me see. So we gotta figure out where what would it be. Is. Oh 
man, I have so many questions. <laughs> See, I, I think that's the issue. We allow people to ask questions. Oh man, <laughs> no, it's gonna it's gonna stop with me. Why are we allow no, 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 no questions? No, no questions. What, what, what was what's the main question you really think you got? What's the main? What, what's the, one question? What proximity to mainland? Or like was like geographically how far? Oh man, like you in? Oh, he has water, 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 water. water. like drip, water, <laughs> like. You just drifted out there because you got the current took you out there. Jay. Well, one, Wi-Fi, which means I would have to have a, uh, a device. Um, so that's two different things. So how would you build it? No, you just have to have it and you just have to be Wi-Fi. I'm not building it. <laughs> right. See, see, this is so how you going to get Wi-Fi too. This, there it is. This is the second issue. All right, I'm going to tell Jay, you. Jay, I'm going to tell you. and be like, but if you got Wi-Fi, you ain't going to have no electricity. Like, yeah, I'm like, oh, like oh, you get what I'm saying? So, so it's like, that's a trap, bro. It's right. a trap. All right, all right. I ain't got no solar panels and nothing. I ain't got nothing. I mean, you can have solar panels. That's just one of my items. See, all right, Jay, solar, Jay panel, solar panel, solar right. panel, device, Wi-Fi. I'm done. Cause you, can, I ain't gonna be stranded. So, for so with the Wi-Fi. Yep. He said, do you think it's going to Do I want to be stranded? He said, do, do, do we got towers out there? <laughs> 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 what towers are you going to Nah, because I, I ain't running back. So Elon Musk right now right. is sending things up for Thanks. remote, you know what I'm saying, countries and in, in, in regions who don't have Wi-Fi to have Wi-Fi. So I'm not worried about it. It's 2020. Yeah. Everybody going to have it. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He so said, I'm going to be found soon. Yeah. Unless I want to be stranded, that's a huge variable. Like, did I isolate myself? Or so was what about food? Food, food? fish, fish is in the ocean. Yeah. You will get in there. Yeah. I'm not harpooning. Yeah. When you playing no games? Now he would. When you, come on, I take, on I take one of these off, turn it into a rope, and tie a little joint around it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These could, these can, these can, these can work like paracord, bitch. See. Yeah, I, got they ready. They I started, started these on that fast. That's deeper yeah. than what they understand right now. I started now. That's, these that's fasting, that bro. Yeah. So, that's it's just it. like fast work. They can, you can use, cut it off, you know what I'm saying? Use yeah. it. This is a part of my journey. And then you know what I'm saying? He all hands. You know what I'm saying? All he hands, hands, bro. He know how to Creative outlets, bro. Yeah. That's I'd be fine. Come on now. Weekends or weekdays? Oh. Weekends or weekdays? Yeah. Probably weekends. Okay. Probably weekends. That's fair. That's real. Yeah. Okay. So our next segment is yeah. when you posted this, what did you mean? And so. Like, oh man, what y'all did, man? <laughs> it's like, no, what did you do? So <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm just innocent, bro. I'm just innocent in this month. <laughs> and so what's going to happen is we're going to end up showing the image. Yeah. And you'll just talk about it. So when you posted this, yes, sir. Why you do that to me, man? <laughs> <laughs> so you got me linking me up, and you do this to me, and start crying on the joint. What was my caption? Uh, I'm not gonna read it. Just post it. I yeah, can't read it. That's right. So my man, <laughs> this was my man, and he, you know. Like also rest in peace, Taven Lewis. Mm -hmm. My man left too, so. Uh, and what I meant was what I said in this moment. It's just a little surreal. Um, I can I can better explain to you. This is rough for me. Okay, we can pass on this. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, in hindsight, I can tell you better. I can articulate better because you know things that happen suddenly and abruptly is hard to articulate. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> the where I was was just re being reminded of how flimsy, how flimsy life is, and how grateful I should be because I probably should have been up out of here a couple of times too. So there's another picture on my feed that you can share in in in, per in, in uh, to marry it to that. And mm -hmm. that's when I got hit by that car in 2017 mm -hmm. on foot. It was actually an SUV and like my face is open, you know what I'm saying? And I'm here talking to you, all my senses work, yeah. even the, the, the past the five they teach you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Straight up, I'm, I'm, I'm here, here, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And so that's one of the things that kind of reflected, you know, I, I go back to the places where I'm vulnerable and I'm grateful and I'm humbled. 
And I also know that I bet not play with the time that I, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of where I was at. Yeah. Especially, and this is another thing too. I know if I, if they took me, if, if the Lord took me in 17, my, my youngest child wouldn't be here right now. Mm -hmm. So maybe my purpose has been fulfilled. I don't know, but all I know is that I'm still here. And so, <clears throat> but that was, that was rough for me. That was rough. Absolutely. Yeah. No, but appreciate the opportunity to be vulnerable. This one. <laughs> hold America for the first time. No, hold America uh, responsible for the genocide of natives enslaved, um, enslavement of Africans and explo uh, exploitation of the world for the first time again. So um, you'll see it when he posts it. But it's just a chop up of the uh, Make America Great Again. It's kind of like one of those things that, um, like when the hell has it ever been great? And I hope somebody sees this and comes for me because I'm, I got time. You know what I'm hey, 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 When you get to that point <laughs> where you like, I got time. You, you look I at my time. skin, you know what I'm saying? And people that look like me and we're wondering the same question. Like, we built it. We never got credit. Hold, instead of make America great again, it's hold America accountable for the first time ever. That's basically what that picture is about. That's real. Yeah. That's real. So how would you say you would want to be remembered? Um, as somebody who's not selfish, um, who went out of his way to propel his brother, um, and to pour into his brother, uh, sister, family, um, rich in love, uh, respected, um, you know, there's a lot of generic terms you can use, like real. <laughs> but <laughs> but somebody who just you know what I'm saying was respected basically yeah. and, um, like Bob Marley said he said my riches is his life you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. um, that's just because of the message that went forward like y'all I'm proud of y'all I met y'all y'all at very developmental stages and y'all were kings then and y'all allowed me around you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got a couple years on y'all. And that's 227 is a real, is a living organism. And I was humbled to be a part of it. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know what I'm saying? The way you all feel about me is only, I know that because you told me, uh, that's, that's enough. That's enough. I, if my daughters can feel that way about your boy, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Authentic, mm -hmm. authentic, and uh, uplifting, man. Mm -hmm. And if I can, you know what I'm saying? And that's another part of scaling the business, too, is being able to be blessings. Yeah. Not being taken advantage of. That's not the same thing. Uh, but to be able to be a blessing. Um, mm -hmm. First to the people that were a blessing to me. If I could reciprocate that any kind of way, that would be dope. That's right. Uh, but also the people coming behind you in this thing that we, we call time. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's to further raise the bar. Like, I want y'all to be way better than me. I want you to feel the same way about the cast five, six years behind you, mm -hmm. 10 years behind mm -hmm. you. Like, y'all, such and such did this, all you're supposed to. Because right. I did this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, I don't want to be stingy, but I also don't want to ignore teachable moments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want God to use me as a vessel to, you know what I'm saying, propel my people. And my people first. I'm very stingy about that too. Like, cause a lot of people have had some head starts. Yeah. yeah. Not, not that I'm. <clears throat> I am showing favoritism, but um, I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying okay. somebody should. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? We all should actually. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. So, do you have any questions for us? Yeah, man. So, all right. So let's let's get into this a little bit. Uh, life has taken you all down your own journeys. Uh, there's some elasticity, you know, you know what I'm saying, and things that keep you all tethered to each other, uh, but not so that you can't establish your own lanes. So, let's just start with the podcast itself. What is your, with your own perspective, your perspective on life, your perspective on life, my perspective on life, what is your intention for this platform? Okay. Um, I think mine was always about my 
my my intention is to make sure that we're touching people and still having genuine conversations. Like we're gonna have fun yeah. regardless. We talk about this all the time. Like we're gonna have fun regardless, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna be us. Mm -hmm. But in those moments where we playing, a lot of times we got a lot of serious stuff that we're really talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like <clears throat> let's have these conversations about the process and like if you're really trying to do something there are numerous ways to do it but yeah. there are so there are a lot of consistencies as well okay and you got to be able to notice that like you have to put in the time you got to put in the groundwork like that's it you got to take hovering so we're giving out these free remis you know what i'm saying free remy shots and all this other kind of shit like shay mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying promo gigs and shit like that and uh so end of the night, I'm carrying her shit to the car, and somebody speeds, runs the red light, leaving the marquee area, going the wrong on the wrong lane, like wrong way, red light. Oh wow! I'm in the street with a box, dude. This nigga's rolling. I look over. I said, <laughs> basically, I could either jump and not get ran over, or not jump and get ran over. But I'm getting hit at this point, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank God for instincts we've been talking about all night. I had some instincts. I didn't think this was going to suck. I think, did I want to die or not? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I jump, face, pow! Yep. And take it. You got you absorb it. You, that's the only way. You, knew. you braced yourself. You, you braced yourself. Hit and run. Nigga, smash my face open on his windshield. I landed, broke my toe, cause I landed stupid, and that nigga kept going. What? Never get him? Nah. Sheesh. Nah. Um, a cop saw it happen, but the nigga was on foot and off duty. Stop. But he got the ambulance there apparently fairly quickly. <clears throat> but I can show you the other post. There's blood all over the street. Uh, I just was bleeding like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> first time you just got to hit. Yeah, I just no, got black. The car that was speeding down. What street is that? Lotus, Locust. Oh wow! <laughs> you I got a box. You know what I mean? And I'm like literally as far as I was closer than the width of this table to the curb. Mm -hmm. Literally, I was like right here. I had one step to go to the curb. I look over. Bow. Smash. And then you look up and fucking Q is gone from playing basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I'm f that's fucks with me, Zan. Like, yeah. that's. And then a year later, we're pregnant. <laughs> I mean, like. What? Yeah. We gotta raise another life. Got to. Pleasure. Yeah. On me. On me. Pleasure. So what's one of your favorite experiences you ever had with anybody that you've met, worked with? A favorite experience that I've ever had? Well, in my adult life? Yeah. Uh, any experience with my oldest brother is dope. Shout out to Greg. He's such a dope person. Um, uh, dope experience. I, I got one with my wife, man. Um, when I went to the Bahamas with her for the first time, you know, I met her over here mm -hmm. uh, and I'd only at this point seen her in the United States. Dope. You know what I'm saying? But you put somebody in the element. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> put them to shine and genuinely like, hey, no, I'm going to put you in, in a position to win. Yeah. Nah, it just wasn't even like, it wasn't even that. It was like we went home. That's it. She's from the Bahamas. Yeah. I went to the Bahamas. And she was herself. There we are. Okay. Authentic. Authentic. You said she you was your accent? I did, actually. I was there for two weeks. Yeah. And so we what flew. What word to say? We flew. Uh, <laughs> uh, they say, but. I, I hope I'm saying it right in the Bahamas. Like, but listen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But. <laughs> 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 I, didn't, I didn't say. I don't know if I said it to do the justice, but if it isn't even hanging, is listening, they're laughing at me, but they appreciate it, I hope. And then uh, they say mother sick a lot. Mother sick. Mother sick. And what does that mean? Mother. You know, you figure it out. Mother sick. 
Motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what else is? I don't know, but they say a lot of stuff that's fun, man. But even more than like the things that they say, it's like how they say it. It's dialect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's just certain things. When I come back and I'm, I was like, my brother picked up on it. He was like, "Yo, word." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm not Bahamas and flew into BWI, which is DC essentially. And yeah. so I seen G, who's in DC, and he's he heard something. He was like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> yo. You know what I'm saying? And my right. oldest brother is like 15 years older than me. So ah, so yeah, he genuinely yeah, older he's, brother. Yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah. so dope. You know what I mean? Like you genuinely like, dang. Yeah, I, I look forward to the day that any of my guys can meet G. Mm -hmm. G solid, man. That's not it. Y'all would love that guy, man. So you say it earlier, uh, when we talked, you this said water is hot, son. <laughs> <laughs> you said you knew to give some of your merch to Nipsey, right? Yeah. So this is how it played out. So my sister hits me, Peace Teresha. She lives out in LA. She's nice. doing a lot of things. Nice Gave her thing. a bunch of NDAs. I can't speak on them, but y'all just be proud of. Her. Mm -hmm. You know, she's but, busy, 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 busy. Y'all nice. know who she is. Shortly, um, but she said, "Yo, I know this dope turkey burger spot." But I'm like, but what? She's like, it's in like heavy crypt territory. And it's like kind of not good right now. Mm -hmm. I was like, so? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm not from here, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know that you don't have a hood pass, so you gotta be okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I was just like, yo, you said food, bro. And we had just did a pop-up on Venice Beach. Okay. So we were strung branded on Venice Beach. You can see it on my timeline. And, mm -hmm. um, she brought up turkey burgers and I was all in. It didn't mm -hmm. take much convincing. And she was like, it's not, I mean, it's not the most savory over there right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's not, it's pretty dope. It's probably the best spot in St. Louis. Uh, in, in, excuse me, in LA. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, all right, babe, let's go. You know what I'm saying? My mama was there. My daughter was one. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they won't see me as a threat. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so fine. She was like, oh, by the right. way, it's like St. Plaza's Nipsey store. This is 2013. Okay. And I'm like, word? That's what you didn't leave with that? Okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That would have she that that helped. Help. Yeah. If nothing else, we tore it. We tore it. Reese's in LA and Reese's rotating around some pretty notice. So she's just like food at this yeah. point. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, but she definitely made me aware that it was probably like turbulent-ish mm -hmm. over there right now. So I get over there and there's a turkey burger spot or it's a little joint. They sell chicken fillies and all kinds of stuff okay. out of this spot. Mm -hmm. Two, three doors down is the Marathon Company. And Nipsey's there. You know what I'm saying? His car is parked out front. Um, and so he was outside and he, I saw him. Well, like this. Anytime somebody do this back, for me, it's a green light. I'm like, I gotta go over there real quick. Yeah. So he, he's back in the store. <clears throat> I walk in, he's like, what's up, OG? On me. <laughs> and I was on like, me. On me. what's up, OG? And I was like, what's going on, man? He's like, ain't nothing, man. Just trying to, you know what I'm saying, get rid of, you know what I'm saying, get rid of some of this merch, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Out here living. You know what I'm saying, what's up? And I was like, yo, peace, St. Louis. I'm in the building by way of Park Hill, Denver. We rock with you. Uh, yeah. And I was looking at the t-shirt prices, I can't stand I was like, whoo! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the Crenshaw joints was like 60 bucks. Jeez. And so, I wanted one, but I was like, yo, I said, yo, let me, um, let me, uh, let me show you what I got going on. We was doing product shots, too. Mm -hmm. and I was just like, I just left this pop-up on Venice Beach. Mm -hmm. uh, he was like, what you got? And I was like, yo, I do, I do jewelry. So, and he was like, you got something on you? I said, for sure. I'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? And so I brought some in, laid them out. He said, like, oh, that one's hard. I was like, which one? And he pointed to the one that was, it was a microphone. It was yeah. a microphone carved out of wood that I beat it up. It had red in it. And I was mm -hmm. like, you, you like that one? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't know. I didn't know the rules. You know what I'm saying? I know the rules where I'm from. Right. I don't know the rules here. here. And this is where it started. You know what I'm right. saying? So I really don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to be respectful yeah, yeah but also my reflexes were kind of like oh, I, I can say you, you want that one mm -hmm. so he was like nah that was the one that's the one i want so uh he took it he put it on and he tucked it and uh he's like that's the one i want 
That's real. I mean, so, you know what I mean? So I was blessed to, like, Nipsey is strong brand family. Rest in peace. Uh, that was an experience, man. And the turkey burgers were off. So, I mean, so now, uh, you know, we got to know you or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any uh, questions for us? For sure, for sure. So this is a solid platform that you all have and where much is given, much is required, right? Facts. You know what I'm saying? You have, you have content and you also have an audience. Yeah. And, you know, people expected certain things, certain things from you guys. And knowing y'all for as many, as many years as I've known y'all, I know what the expectation of your audience is. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're not looking for, for you know what I'm saying, anything less than greatness. So I want to ask you guys if there is, if there's anybody <clears throat> in the world, dead or alive, that you could have on this show, on this platform, who would that be? Who would you want to have sitting in where I'm sitting right now? You know what? Yeah. I would always say Alan Iverson because that's just somebody who I just want to meet in general. Yeah. Indeed. However, I would ask like a for real. Mm. Or, okay. Or Will Smith. See, you know what? Mm. And to be honest, Will Smith for real. I, I, ooh. That, <laughs> that, that just changed my. That just. That's like my, when wow. I look at that my just, future. That just. I think that's my 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 targets to hit. Okay. Like those are okay. people who I think. Cause I, I I got I went to school for psychology because I like the hitch. Okay. Will Smith Will Smith portrayed an image to me. And that's why I like Alan Iverson. Because he Wow, he, that's a big statement. You watched Hitch and chose your field of study based yeah. on how well it Because I realized that I was doing that all the time, regardless. Wow. You man. Feel, meeting people in their meetings to be able to help them to be the them the best them. To build to strategies. To maximize their potential. Exactly. Mm -hmm. In every aspect. And so that was so the way he does now, that's what I still look up to. And Pharrell showed me I can be different wow, yes. and still be comfortable in, in my own skin. Oh, that's a solid episode. Or is that one episode or is that two episodes? I mean, we, I hope we can do that's one. A separate, yeah, that's a, that's that's a separate question, right? That might be two, right? Might be two, right? So that's that'd, be a, that'd be a crazy one episode. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. And then yes. Alan Iverson, Jamie Foxx. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Also. Yeah. Okay. Who you got? Who you sitting down with? We sitting down with, we gonna go with, we going with CJ, mm -hmm. CJ, who works with uh, ET every time. Okay. All right. Okay. Just cause it's a real conversation and I know he ain't gonna have no fluff. He just gonna talk, he gonna talk. Okay. And it's, it's I, like, I, I, I'm not a fluff person. Okay. okay. So like, you know what I'm saying? My didn't sugarcoat a lot. Like reality was reality and you made it, you made it through. And so like she did you a service. So I'm just you know what I'm saying. So I'm pretty up. always straightforward. Like I, I yeah. can tell you exactly this is what it is, this is what we're gonna do, this is it. Okay. So I know he's gonna be like, even even if I don't even care if he came on this one and he he was like, This is how I would do this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. cool, we needed that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, cool, we needed that. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad. Yeah. Cool, I can take yeah. constructive criticism. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we still got to figure out if we're going to apply. We got to hold each other accountable. You know what I mean? What we say earlier, comfort is comfort, the biggest, comfort. biggest, you know what I'm saying, enemy yeah. of progress. You got to have people talking to you straight. And then... Always. Always. <laughs> yeah. What you got? Man, if we talk entertainer, we talk entertainer right now. Okay. I think it'd be cool to talk to... James Earl Jones. Wow. When I when I really got too much history. When I really just oh, I'm wrapping sit my brain down. Around that when I really just sit down and I and if, if I really be honest to myself what? and I think about oh, influential moments. I'd be over there sitting next to D, man. You got voice. that <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Have a voice. That's it. Yeah. That's what? a whole nother ball oh, game. Wow. Cause like as a cartoon, you Good. touched me. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As a cartoon, you, you touched about me. Mufasa, yeah. Come on now. Come on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when you watch, you know what I'm saying? The summer, the uh, movie with the light, like, summer, what uh, the light uh, touches. What? It's our kingdom. I said that and, today. And it's, in, and it's in real facts. Like you know what I'm saying? I said that, I won't give you the context, but I actually quoted that joint today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's crazy, man. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Because that's a that's a dynamic. mentality in itself. Like genuinely saying, like yeah. your light be like yeah. this is this is your light that's beaming, and you can see yeah. the shadow parts. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like yeah, that's it get dangerous over there. Not saying you can't survive, but it get dangerous over there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you got a team with you, somebody that's bigger and strong with you, mm -hmm. or you got the, just the team that's everybody on equal playing fields for real. But y'all yeah. work together to survive. Yeah. But that's the only way it's gonna work over there. Otherwise, them hyenas gonna get you. Yeah. That's what they do. <laughs> wow. It's your yin and yang. That's so real in life. That's so real. That's what's up, man. Uh, I want to go back to a question you asked me about who I want to work with, man. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> in 2020. And kind of in the headspace that I'm in, I would probably have to say Hove, bro. Okay. Hove is, uh, uh, he's the mogul, man. He's the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got the, he got the album called Blueprint. Also KRS one respect, but, um, it's just the, 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 the style that in which he moves, like you don't know what he's doing all the time. You know, it's epic when he resurfaces. It, it's, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, you expect a certain level of him he would be if i could have one financial advisor it'd be whole probably oh, oh, so um how would you use this money right now Talk i mean exactly like, listen, <laughs> I, got, I got a bag and i got a few things but i don't know necessarily know i might fall on my face if i do this and just want to bounce this off you you know what i'm saying that would be very um and then also philanthropy, he could he could coach me through a little bit of that as yeah. well. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I would probably say like uh, for me, it would either be Tyler Perry, because mm -hmm. that's one of my main reasons why I have to get to Atlanta. Okay. To get to work with him. Okay. We got the wow. same birthday. Do y'all really? Yeah. Which is for the people Se September thirteenth. Talk to him. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo season. Facts. And oh yeah, you already know we are. Hey, and my, old, my old man is the uh, nineteenth. September. Mm -hmm. I'm second. You know what I'm solid saying? Cat. So, like, it's just it's and solid. And other than that, I would want to work with LeBron. Second? Second. Work with LeBron. Really? Mm. LeBron's got a lot going on. He's a solid individual yeah. as well. Like, he's able to cross over certain barriers that yeah. anyone can because he, he understands everybody and everybody fucks with him. Yeah. He's it's like the common man. Yeah. Almost. He really is, though. He's a hard worker to find his way. Yeah, the game, so. he came. He came from humble beginnings, man. He's a family man. He's married, got a sister. First yeah. of all, a salute to that. Yes. I'm gonna just keep it a thousand. Thou yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm about us. Um, you know what I'm saying? He's a great father. He's a great human. He's got a school. Mm -hmm. Big and it's, and it's successful. And it's successful. Check out the We Just Living website. We did a uh, <clears throat> we covered it. So check it out. It's in the blog section. What? That's respect. Tracks. That's respect. So, yeah. yeah, man. Alright, well, sure. I mean, I think y'all, uh, let me see. I'm trying to think about, there's a, t a ton of things I could ask y'all, man. Um, you can edit this in post, right? Now. Yeah. Alright, cool. Because uh, I forgot where we was at on the uh, last episode. Um, on the last. Why we, why, what What did we want from the podcast? Or what do we want from what we do? Thank you. <laughs> How did I word that? Let me see. All right, so next question I would say is um, the expectation. We always, people people judge each other off of intent. People judge themselves off of intention and everybody else off of expectation. Yes. Y'all follow that? I do. Very yeah, good. Because I don't live in your head. Uh -huh. right. Nothing speaks louder than work. So the expectation for this podcast when it's all said and done, and I hope that's a long time from now. Right. But what is the expectation of it's more than love? I'm, I'm expecting people to understand the the transparency that we have, mm. and the the understanding that the current circumstance that they in, whether good nor bad, mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. I mean. It's still up to them, no matter what the the situation, the the environment that they in, like that's able to change. Yeah. And yeah. you gotta put, you gotta first off tell yourself that like it genuinely can change because if you keep telling yourself what what we say at work, essentially like people will find many ways of why something won't work, but won't focus on the one way that can. 
If you say you can, yeah. you're right. If you say you can't, you're also correct. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're also right, man. So when you sit there and you realize, like, okay, hold on. Yeah. Like you literally are telling me every way that you can't succeed, but literally you went past how you could, mm -hmm. and you said, ah, but that can't work because of this. What you you ain't trying that. You don't even know. That's yeah. just an outcome, that a possible outcome. That's fear. That's fear. That's fear. You know what I mean? That's so, fear. so this podcast for you is something that talks and encourages people to look past your own uh, worst critic isms mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, and own it. Encourages people to just say, "Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Exactly. You really ain't got no real excuse. That's power. <laughs> That's power. Why the hell not? Is power, bro. Yeah." You know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean, God give us, we talk about instincts, mm -hmm. and God give us instincts mm -hmm. based on how we digest information and how we, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, we, we understand that there's certain things that for thousands of years, humans have adapted to, adapted to mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, that we have needs. Yep. So you get your ass up. Get your ass up. <laughs> this is basically what it boils <laughs> down to, yeah, right? My, so, yeah. Mama didn't figure it out. Yeah. But you still can, G. <laughs> like, you yeah, absolutely up. can. And Ma <laughs> Dukes might not have, she might have been her own worst critic. Mm -hmm. She, uh, you know what I'm saying? God bless Ma Dukes, because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. Facts. But she also probably did leaps and bounds that, we, that she did not articulate that we didn't really, you know what I'm saying, get to uncover or unpack. Mm -hmm. So, nah, that's what's up. So, yeah, nah, the expectation for you for this podcast is to empower, put yeah. gas in the put tank, gas in the tank. Uh, of people watching, people behind you, and this thing we call time. Uh, that's respect. That's admirable. Admirable. Excuse me. A little wine in my system. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. What's, what's your happened. expectation for, uh, for the podcast, for the platform? That's real. Um... <clears throat> I feel like this is like my next level. Like you know how to diversify, diversify yourself. Like yeah. Diddy has done. He changed his name from Diddy to Puffy. To Brother Puffy. Love. All that. <laughs> Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. <laughs> and this is another way for my fans to see me in a more constant light. Mm -hmm. You know, because the one reason why I started We Just Love is so I can get from behind the camera and actually show my personality. Mm. Because this is what set my brand. It is. Right? It really is. Bro. And so and another reason really I got is. And another reason why I started, we start. I wanted to start doing this, is because if I can do this, you can do it too. Mm -hmm. Like I'm from Decatur, sure. Illinois. Yeah. Not a lot of people know about it unless you've heard it from me or you kind of got family there. Literally, you the won't first know time it. I heard it was from you. You won't know it. You so, told me you was from Decatur, and I said, "Oh, say George." Was like, and he was like, "I was like, I was like, where's Granny?" He was like, "Nah." Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> I was like, as oh. proud as I am when I say Park Hill. Oh God. Yeah. Oh God. There's not many. You mean facts? Yeah. And so I came to St. Louis and made it mm -hmm. to this type of level. Though this ain't like a basic level. No. Like by no means. And then we've traveled and done this in other cities. So you Word. know, I definitely see this podcast traveling and doing new. Well, I mean, everything has already been done. Mm -hmm. But we're just talking to the people who you want to talk to, mm -hmm. and we're making it happen. Like we're going to. The, just say a celebrity that you may that you may want to hear from. Yeah. And uh, us randomly getting this invite. Yeah. And we sitting down talking. You seen the two hour Drake uh, interview? You probably have. Not. No. But that's like, You'll send what am I doing on his couch or this couch? Yeah. Or you know, so that's why I'm, I'm doing it to give you insight and in, an in depth look of how mm -hmm. work looks. Yeah. Because now we we say hard work and determination. But what does that actually look like? Yeah, for sure. Like, does that mean like okay? If I put in one hard day, day this week, that means I put in hard work. No, that that just means you you just work. We talked about consistency yeah. earlier. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So this is what it looks like if you want to be on my level. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to be on this person's level, okay, that's what you do. That's it. But if you want this type of success, mm -hmm. financial freedom, this is what it takes. And so that's why we, I only really want to have people on here that have had some type of experience so they and Respect. they had some type of success. You so know? you say that, I'm going to turn the corner and thank you for your perspective mm -hmm. on that. Who in your lifetime do you think has reinvented the wheel? Oh my God. Of how we do things? Industry. Industry. Let's just make it about industry. I mean, I mean just for, uh, for what I... Not think. reinvented the wheel, but found a different way to drive. Oh man, LeBron. He gave everybody their key. There you go. He made it like, no, you're not a slave no more. Mm -hmm. And it's changed over to the NFL. 
Now, NFL players are getting out of their contract. They don't want to be there. They tired of being slaves to certain people. Mm. So I say LeBron from Peace to Kurt Flood, by the way, who invented free agency. But I hear what you're saying. That's real. You know what I mean? That's real. St. Louis Cardinals. That's okay. greatness. What you got? Reinvented the wheel. Yeah. Who? 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 Who did you watch? You know, in my lifetime, I was born in the '80s. I come from the '80s, right? Mm-hmm. I seen a couple of industries pop up that revolutionized the globe. Right. The internet right. is one of them. Yeah, that was the internet. I was just born. You was just born, just right? Born. YouTube. Yeah. That came out early back. That's that's a part of that whole. YouTube, actually, you know what? YouTube is an entity of itself. Mm-hmm. It used the, the the platform, which we're talking about platforms, mm-hmm. but YouTube became its own platform. Yeah, behind the Instagram, uh, change yeah, the game, follow the game. You know what I'm saying? So, in your lifetime, what who have you seen change the game? Change the game is better than reinvent the wheel. I um, think it's better. It's fair. I would say. <laughs> it 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 have to be. See, I like so many people, and yeah. I get so many people credit for certain stuff. Yeah. So like. Yeah. Yeah, and you probably should actually. If I'm watching right now, mm-hmm. I gotta give props to y'all gonna laugh, Nick Cannon. No. No, I'm not nah. laughing at that. That man had uh, like if, we, if, if, you, if yeah. people really yeah, sit laughing. back yeah. and understand like yeah. what he's been able to create and maintain, yeah, and then elevate mm-hmm. to where it's like for, if we we talking about going back to from the movies mm-hmm. to music, de- de- hey, whether it was what it needed to be, it is. Yeah. That's a whole nother conversation. But products, hey, products, yeah. He went through the headphone phase. Did, okay. he own, did he own a piece of Nickelodeon at some point? He does not. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. and then come out to wildin' out to where, like, hey, if you were somebody coming up, you you definitely own it. Yeah. If you were somebody that made it, you yeah. definitely own it. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Like, as and from business, oh, he he took that. Come that's, on, now he took that. A solid answer. He said. This is mine. That's song. somebody I definitely like to have on the podcast. See, there it is. And yeah, can I think he write that down? Like real, like you know I'm saying? just saying, that's happening. Facts. Yeah, yeah. That and chance. Yeah, chance, 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 chance is another one. Cause that that that's big time would be somebody. Else. Ooh. Yeah. Cause I want to know how you decide to write. I decided, but then I mean, J Cole on here to talk about the Born Center out. That's it. Oh my mm-hmm. goodness, man. Mm-hmm. Robert Smith for me. Y'all know from Robert Smith. I'm not sure. No. Alright, alright, get your pins out. No, just <laughs> we got we got Robert Smith, is, notes, Robert Smith is a billionaire. Okay. He looks like us. He's a tech giant. Mm-hmm. He, he's, he's not he's not an old guy. Mm-hmm. So look up Robert Smith. And he's from Denver. We went to the same high school also. He's a billionaire. That's true. Um and he's black. And he's mm-hmm. it's phenomenal. And he's just tapped into the content arena. Mm-hmm. So he's he's financing some some things in Hollywood. Uh, so for me, that's that's another cat that I would want to <clears throat> pick his brain. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Not just for the sake of you know being wealthy, for the sake of just navigation. Like you know, you come from the same blocks I came from. True. You know Talk to you. Yeah, you got you got a billion dollars. So you got more than that. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Something else. Yeah, yeah, man. That's but that's also like what you said in the podcast. What the what the most important thing is to show people perspective. So if you when you when you begin to get people like this on your show, it's going to allow people. You know what I'm saying? And not just people that look like us. I, I like to I like to wave our flag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, there's a lot of gyms everywhere. Gyms everywhere. Gary yeah. V. Yeah, Gary V. Hey, yeah, is my guy. That's what. That's why. You know started doing this. It was like he, he made a post saying, "Why don't you post four times a day?" Now he said, "Yo, exactly. Where's your content?" Yeah, don't give me a business card. Show me the content. Show me your content. Thanks. I think he. I think it was more than four times a day. Actually, was it? No, it was that dro- the guy that drew. He was like, "You need to post four times." Oh, okay. Because yeah. I've I've seen tell people like yeah. with like businesses like myself, mm-hmm. you'd be posting. What he said? Well, I guess yeah, twenty times a week. That's what he said. So mm-hmm. it's about the same. But um. It's the truth, man. Yeah. He'd have a lot to say on your show. Yeah. Yeah, man. 
Well, man, we appreciate you. Yeah, Again, yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. Once again, this is William Focus. Archer, Yo, Ball. stand up, man. Will from Park Hill. Will from Park Hill. Appreciate, you know what I'm saying, the opportunity to come on the show, man, and share a little bit of my story, a little piece. Sure. Uh, been rocking with y'all for <laughs> years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a pleasure to do so. I'm humbled by it, man. And um, yeah, if anybody, if y'all want Cherokee, come see me, man. 2308 Cherokee, the Passport Boutique. Uh, the Passport Boutique on Instagram as well. Strong brand also on Instagram. Um, God is good, man. All, all, all the time. Indeed, love y'all, man. <laughs> all right, this is the More Than Love Podcast. I'm Fine One, and I am Innocence. Hey, man, subscribe to the channel. Hit if you, the links below. You miss it something if you man. don't. I'm just Indeed. telling you. Content, man. A legend on the day. It's a rap. Facts. Respect. And uh, we'll holler at y'all later. Peace. Peace.